Hi guys, so here's how to import various different people from a CSV file onto your course. So I'm going to click on site, I'm going to scroll down to people, and I'm going to click on import users. So at this point it depends on what I want them to do, I mean if they're an instructor, they're an instructor, if they're a student, pick students, um, and then depending on what they are. So I'm going to pick on, click on students, um, and then I'm going to look at my CSV file. So, so this is what you'd get if you were importing from various other platforms. So I'm just going to open up my spreadsheet that I've made earlier. So here's my spreadsheet that I've made earlier. And as you can see, it's just got first name, last name, and then email. And that's all you need. So I'm going to upload that file. And then we're going to click next. So as you can see, we've got first name, last name, and email as the column headers, and these are the fields. So this is what database it will upload in. So you can add in phone number as well, or you can skip the column. But let's just make sure. So first name will lead to first name. There we go. I've got first name in this column. So Zenla will upload them as the first name. Last name, again, so CSV column header last name. There we go, that is the last name. Excuse all those silly um, names there. And then finally, email is email. So if I was to change these around, um, you would still have to map them up, but make sure you name them what they're being called here, just because it's a lot easier. And then we'll add a tag, just so we know, um, and we'll call it today's date, so 19 March. and we'll put them into my Getting Started with Zenla course, and we will leave that funnel alone, but depending on where your funnels are, you might wanna put them at different positions because they're not new users, they're existing users that you've just transferred over. So you might want to put them in a slightly different funnel. Uh, I'm not going to send them a notification, but you should, realistically, um, just so they've got all their login details, um, and that is just to make sure they can receive emails and products about your special offers. But because I work at Zenla, I'm aware of all our special offers and our products. So I'm just gonna click finish there. And then the system will send you an email once it's complete. And that's how to import new users with Zenla.